A lady posted on her page on TikTok saying, my baby daddy picked me up from the hospital with his girlfriend and drove me an hour back home. So what was she doing at the hospital? She was giving vets. She just had a baby. <laughs> okay, somebody asked her, like, please explain what are you trying to say? Your baby daddy with his girlfriend, you had a back seat. You know, you can see the girl in front. That's a girlfriend. The guy was one driving. She's at the back seat, you know, baby mama. People are like, explain, like, kind of explain. Let me roll the clip for you to watch so you hear our explanation. Then we'll be back to talk about it. Check a rule. Okay, make this make sense. So I have a four and a five year old and a newborn, one baby daddy. My four and a five year old um, were at home and my, I was in the hospital with my newborn baby. So when my baby daddy picked me up, he had his girlfriend in the car. Did I know he had a girlfriend? Yes. We co-parent with our four and a five year old. So on Mondays, he drops the kids off. On Mondays, he picks the kids up. He usually comes inside on Mondays and plays with his kids or packs their stuff or bathes, whatever he tells her that he's doing while she sits outside. Jackaroo. Anyway, so while she sits outside for about 45 minutes. Now, on one of those Mondays, Jackaroo was conceived. Um, and then we had Jackaroo. He was still living with his girlfriend, but we had Jackaroo. So, yeah. Hey, beautiful people, how y'all doing today? It's your favorite girl again, Mara David, and I'm back again with another interesting video. We had Jackaroo on those Mondays. Like she's saying, it's in a pr she's proud. And I feel like women like this are the kind of women that they will be cheating on you with your partner or with your man, and they'll be like, mm-hmm, oh, yeah, we did it, mm-hmm. Because, I don't know, I don't understand. How can you have a three child? How... You already have two with the same man. He has a girlfriend. He will park his car outside. The guy is going to be inside the car. And he will come inside to conceive Jackaroo. Anyways, I have a few reactions to share with you all. On this video let me go ahead and really click for you to watch to the end but then let me know your thoughts about this video down in the comment section what is your take on this baby mama <laughs> who is that for the baby mama or the girlfriend or the baby daddy let's talk about it in the comment section on one of those mondays jackaroo was conceived um and then we had jackaroo he was still living with his girlfriend i know i'm gonna get a lot of flack for this but i don't care some of y'all are so pathetic i'm sorry i'm sorry there's no amount of, you deserve so much better, sis, that can save y'all. There's no mm. amount of women making the same mistake before y'all that can save y'all. And don't come in my comments talking about, ah, you're shaming. Yes, bring back shame. And before you say, what about the baby daddy? The baby daddy knew he had a girlfriend. He doesn't care, okay? He's getting free and available box from his girlfriend, and he's getting it from her too. You can't shame someone who's getting what they want. You can try to shame him, but I guarantee you he doesn't care. Y'all are the ones who need to be held accountable. And y'all, this just reminded me of that another video a creator made last week. And she said something like, oh, why do y'all make pregnancy into such a bad thing? Uh, why are baby mamas looked at so negatively? Yada, yada, yada. And then videos come out like this and the jokes write themselves. How would there ever be anything positive attached with being a baby mama when all we ever see is y'all having low self-esteem, low self-worth and low standards like do you know how low you have to think of yourself to be in two kids deep with your baby daddy a whole nother woman in the car and making a third all the while crying on tiktok about how stressful it is to be a baby mama oh it's so hard being a single mom let me make another one what i would tell y'all to stand up but i know some of y'all have to have 50 billion kids before you finally get it and it's the way she's sitting there telling the story with this kind of smirk on her face it's just so ugh. i have three kids with my baby daddy and he picked me up from the hospital with his girlfriend in the car not me but that's what this creator said you under tiktok rock if you have not seen this story going around but i'm gonna catch all up okay so she gets on the internet and tells us that 
She just had a baby and she has three kids with one man. That one man has a girlfriend. So she gets pregnant by her baby daddy of two at the time. This is the third baby. That baby daddy comes to see her and the kids every Monday. And on that Monday, she got pregnant. And that's where this little baby came from. So she's talking about on the internet. And the internet is saying a lot of things. So I'm going to just catch all that. The internet is saying you couldn't beat them with a stick in the Supreme Court and get this information out of them. The other internet is like, y'all don't know what people go through. It's a mental health issue and we should pray for her. The other internet is like, between random man from Atlanta and Morgan, we tired of baby mama drama. The other internet is like, mind y'all business. This don't have nothing to do with y'all. And the other internet is like, she put her business out there so we can talk about it. But I don't know. Y'all let me know what y'all think. Love y'all. Bye. He usually comes inside on Mondays and plays with his kids or packs their did y'all see them air quotes on he comes inside and bathes the kids or plays with them for 45 minutes? You mean to tell me the whole time that he had his kids, that wasn't enough playtime? He got to come in your house an additional 45 minutes? No, it's given very much. You're upset that he moved on. And I blame both of y'all. But you were upset that he moved on and you're using your children as a pawn to still infiltrate a new relationship and the girlfriend had to know because what, what do you think he's sitting outside doing every monday when he dropped his kids off for 45 minutes i would be gonna spit on both of y'all sorry to talk i be gonna slap both of y'all up in the face because y'all not gonna play in my face like that and that's why i don't do baby mamas deceived um and then we had jackaroo he was still living with his somebody reported my last video said i was harassing so i'm gonna try this again Sis don't have no morals for herself because you're not supposed to be the side piece to your baby daddy. You're not supposed to be the side piece mm -hmm. to your baby daddy and the girlfriend is nasty because she's aware of what's going on. There's no way you're telling me that you don't know that this man is in this house for 45 minutes and that she's not humping him. If you and your man are having sex, you should be well aware of how long it takes for him to do what he got to do and do, 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 do. No same person is going to go in the house and help their baby mama or their baby daddy get their kids close together. If my moral, if my only job in your life is to get the co-parent with you with our children. What else do I need to come in your house for? Have the kids waiting outside for me. Why would I be there? Why would I come in? I don't care what y'all say. Have the co-parents and whatever. I'm not coming in your house, especially if my boyfriend is sitting in the passenger seat. Because if I'm no longer interested in you, then why am I? What What the hell is there for? Mm -hmm. And not for you, sis, you ain't got no morals. You don't got no morals. You don't have no, no respect for yourself. You don't have nothing because this is not what you're supposed to do as a woman. A woman would never do that. But once you leave that relationship, that relationship is done. Done, done, snip by. Y'all don't have any connects besides that child. Besides your three children, actually. If y'all want to be together, if you want to sit there and sneak around and be hoo ha ha, then he needs to be with you because apparently you don't have no respect for yourself. And that's why he's treating you like that. He's treating you like that because he knows that he can do anything. He can run up over you and you will settle for less. You're settling for less right now by, by doing what you're doing with this man. Why? You can find a man out here that cares about you. And the fact that you're getting on TikTok and publicly announcing what you're doing goes to show that you don't care for nobody but yourself. And you don't have no, you don't have no morals. You don't. You don't. I don't don't say that you get on here and doing the fit shit because like so anybody can I, I get it. You want to shit, but there's just some points that you just there's there's, there's just a time where you stop and think do I need to be posting this? This is going to make me look bad. Do I care about my morals or do I care more about money? And right now it looks like you care more about money because there's no way in hell. You died with some stuff and that's something you should have died with. You should have took that one to the grave with you. True. You are the side piece to your baby daddy. That's true. That's true. You have no morals. I mean, I get it. You don't own that lady no loyalty. I, I, I get it. But at the same time, karma is real, baby. Karma is real. Karma's gonna come back and bite your ass. Bite you right in the ass. If he don't have no respect for her or for you, what makes you think that he's gonna change? What makes you think that having another child is gonna do anything? A baby does not keep a man, lady. Y'all bitches are wearing me out with these baby mama chronicles, okay? There's this lady that posted a video of her sitting in the back seat of a car. Her baby daddy is driving and his girlfriend is in the passenger side. And she's basically saying that her baby daddy picked her up with his girlfriend from the hospital after just giving birth, right? 
And then she posted a follow-up video because people wanted clarification. So she explained mm -hmm. that they already have two children together that are like three and four. They're stair step, right? And that he's had a girlfriend. So she's aware there's another woman in the picture. And that the girlfriend sits in the car for about 45 minutes a couple of days out of the week while he comes in the house and tucks his kid in or helps his kid with homework, whatever. During those 45 minutes encounter that's supposed to be for the children and she's sitting in the car, they found a window of opportunity to get busy, which resulted in this newborn baby that she's holding right now. So now you're posting this story online. You're hashtag you know for you page because you i guess you want people to see it so i'm trying to figure out is this a flex like is this a it is. is this a laugh at my pain like i gotta laugh to keep from crying like what was the point of this because mm -hmm. you had to know that people's gonna be looking at you sideways like you a dumbass like yeah. this man clearly is in a relationship with a whole other woman and clearly she's aware that you got pregnant by her boyfriend and she's still there. I'm trying to figure out like, were you trying to shame the girlfriend and make her feel bad for sticking around with a nigga that made a baby on her? Or is it is it you that's trying to laugh for your pain? Cause I need somebody to help me understand. You know that guy that got that song? I follow him, but I don't know his name off the rip where he's like, you let him hit it raw. You didn't have second thoughts. Now you a single mom. Now you a single mom. Like you, like bitches give fuel to shit like that. That's why these dudes can make dumbass songs like that. That actually are catchy because it's fucking true. Like you just made yourself a three time single mom. Yeah, you might say he's involved, but what is it? He's mine. You made a hat of once, but I got him all the time. Is that is that you? What you have in mind? Cause bitch, this is time fucking foolery. Y'all just be out here just posting shit for to go viral views at this point because this shit don't even make sense. When my baby daddy picked me up, he had his girl. So they are calling that girl Morgan 2.0, Morgan on steroids, and she's really not like. She didn't get online lying like Morgan did. She didn't get online with a sad, I'm a single mother, my baby daddy hate me, I'm broke by my merge, whatever the fuck Morgan was talking about. She didn't get on. She owned her truth immediately. She said, I ain't coming up off that man. I'm on him like a hog on shit. I don't care if you got a girlfriend. I, that's her truth and she's living in it. She didn't get online lying. And I have a piece of advice. You can line my ass crack up next to six different bitches and I guarantee you my baby daddy don't know which one is mine. That's how long it's been since we've had Mr. Nasty time, okay? Over two years and my baby not to, do the math. And I say that because the only reason I could even think why Morgan or Brianna still going back to their baby daddy is because they want that family, they want that unit, that man in the house. Okay. Fuck that family. Fuck it! I, I told, I, I had to learn that early on because I wanted peace. I could tell that it, it just, you not gonna know peace until you Stop fucking on your baby daddy. It's in the Bible, actually. I, I read it. But for real, like, you're not going to know peace in your spirit, in your household, until you stop having dealings with your baby daddy. Especially if y'all are not together. If you are not together, you don't have no business fucking on your baby daddy. I don't care if it's convenient. If y'all... It don't matter. Stop doing it. I'm telling you, it makes things so much easier. And this ain't no baby daddy bashing at all. Because me and my baby daddy cool. We don't got no beef. We're straight. We're good. But... I don't know. And I think some women too don't want to be labeled as like a single mom. So they try to make it work. That title is not going to keep me tied down to a man I don't want to be with, babe. You can call me a single mom. You can call me what you want, bitch. You can't call me bro. Call me a single mom, but immediately after, call me beautiful, career driven, homeowner, paid. Call me all of that in one sentence, boo. Because guess what? I'm doing well. I'm doing swell. I'm living life like it's golden with my baby. Yes, I'm a single mother and I'm good. So I don't know. I don't know where this is going. I'm going to end it here, but stop looking on your baby daddy. And I don't know. Take care of them kids. You see, the part that got me really annoyed is the fact that she came on the internet to post it. What, what was the reason? 
what was the reason for you to think you should post that and the way she was talking like mm-hmm it came to me and we can see if, um i forgot the name of her son what was the reason what, what made you think and I, the way she sounded is as if she's okay with it it's a good thing and i actually went to her page probably maybe she's lying I went to Apejo to check some videos and I saw a video and she was like, it's not my fault that my baby daddy is cheating on his girlfriend with me. <laughs> See, I know we talk about men, men are this, men are trash, da 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 da. But as a woman, if you don't give yourself brain, if you don't have sense, they will keep using you till you're done. How can you have already two children? A whole two children with one man. And he keeps coming to the, okay, he's being a good baby daddy because he comes every week to take care of the children or to carry the children. I don't know whatever he comes to do. But he has a girlfriend. So his girlfriend sits in the car and the next thing that pops in your head is for you to sleep with your baby daddy so you can have another child so you can have another child what are you trying what point are you trying to prove what is your point exactly what is the sense in this you want to have another child so that to shame the girlfriend or to make the girlfriend feel like mm -hmm, i'm his baby baby mama yeah i don't know i'm trying to understand what was the reason for you to have the third one? What was the reason for you to still keep sleeping with him, knowing that he has a girlfriend and he brings the girl to your place to take his children and you still go ahead to sleep with him and have another child? My brain is, I can't understand this. <laughs> to be honest, I can't understand it. It's, it's not, the math is not matching in my head. I don't understand how someone can stoop so low to lower their standards like that. Just for what? Just for what? And the fact that she's not even seeing the wrong in what she's doing is annoying because she sees it as if, eh, I, uh -huh. that, I feel like that was pissing me off because you're doing, you know, when you do something, I'm like, oh, I don't know, like you, you talk about something like your story, and we're like, oh, she didn't know, oh, so sorry. But no, she's aware, she knows, and she's like, mm hmm. Um, it's, not, it's not my fault that my baby, baby daddy is cheating on me with his girlfriend. And then the girlfriend, I feel like the girlfriend knows that something is going on. Of course, this third child will make her know that, okay, something is really going on. But then she's so, the other girl, that's baby mama, she's so dumb to think that you are the baby making machine. Then your baby daddy with his girlfriend will go out or travel around the world. You will be there nursing three children alone. Who is smart and who is dumb? You are the one that your career, <laughs> you can't even meet up with your career because you have three children whereby your baby daddy girlfriend does, has no kids. She can do whatever she wants to do. She can, she, you can, she can pick a bag at any given time and she's not going to be attached to that guy. But you, you are going to be attached to him forever because you already have three children. Three. Three. The two was probably was a mistake. Maybe one was a mistake. The two, three. I really don't know what to say about this video. Anyways, let me know your thoughts about this video down in the comment section. And thank you all so much for sticking around to this point. I hope you enjoyed this one. <laughs> don't forget to like and share and subscribe. And turn on the post notification bell so you can get notified once I upload another interesting video like this one. And of course, you all. See you in my next one. Bye.